I'm going to make my niece Stephanie, who's coming over, because today is all about Aunt Sandy and Stephanie Day. I am going to make her, her these sweet little banana bites that she loves. And they start off with just vanilla wafers and pudding and bananas. I can get all this good stuff in her. I have sugar-free pudding, which her mom will appreciate. I have her favorite vanilla wafers. And all you're going to do is place these right down on a plate. And I'm going to make six of them, two for each of us. Maybe I'll make one extra one for me to have a little snack before everybody gets here. Okay. Now, before I start the bananas, I want to, where's my pudding? I want to start the pudding. This is a vanilla pudding. It is sugar-free, which is great. Put the pudding in here, and you just need a cup and a half of a low-fat milk. This is a sugar-free instant pudding. And then you're just going to whisk this. And you can see it's already starting to thicken up. So I'm going to put this into the fridge. And I have already made some. And then I am going to put this into a little plastic baggie and tape it on. OK. Just like so. Just seal this, and I'm going to leave a little bit open so I can get the rest of that air out. Set this aside. Now you're going to need a banana. And I'm just going to peel this. And these bananas are going to sit right on top of your vanilla wafers. And you just want to cut these into about half inch little pieces and you're going to place them on the top of each vanilla wafer. These are like little mini dessert appetizers. Let's put them on there now. Those are a little bit sticky, so I'm going to grab my paper towel. And I want to put some vanilla wafers into this little bag and crush it up, because that's going to be on the top, just like this. And I'm going to use Bricer's little rolling pin. I'm sure Miss Stephanie's going to take it home to him tonight. He's been missing it for a while. It's kind of fun to use all these little kids tools that teaches them how to cook. I love having all this little stuff around. It's really useful and handy. All right, now, with my little scissors, I'm just going to snip off the end of my plastic bag. And I'm going to pipe the pudding onto just like that. Is that fun? And you can see why the kids like them so much. These are also really fun for like a desserts and drinks party. This is a great idea. OK. And now, just a little bit of this on the top of each one. And how pretty and fun are these?